Dinon is a town in Brittany, northwest France. It's well known for its exceptionally rich architectural heritage of between the 14th to 18th centuries. It's also known for its medieval ramparts, cobblestone streets and half-timbered houses. Dinon flourished in the trading of line and leather, wool and cereal, with cargo departing on ships from its harbor on river runs. The square with open-air restaurants and cafeterias looks really inviting to spend here some time. This square, the site of a fair, contains an equestrian statue of commander-in-chief Bertrand du Guesclin. In 1806, the southern part of the square, called Place du Champ, was renamed Place du Guesclin in memory of a legendary figure in French history. Bertrand's rise to prominence began at the age of 17 during the early stages of the Hundred Years' War in 1337. His popularity soared after his victorious efforts during the Siege of Dinan in 1357, where he defeated the English. The Church of St. Malo in Dinan is one of the most important historic monuments in the town. It is a very old church even for France. The first St. Malo church was located at the site of the present chapel of St. Joachim on Boulevard Flot. This first church depended on the Priory St. Malo, founded in 1066 by Olivier, Vicomte de Dinon. The original church of St. Malo was destroyed during the war with Brittany. The church was rebuilt in the 15th century, started by the Duke of Brittany and then partly completed by French after they had won the war. Due to interruptions caused by the lack of money and the wars of religion, 
Walk on the Church of St. Malo stopped and restarted on several occasions, with some parts completed in the 18th century. And some parts finally finished in the 19th century after the church was neglected following the revolution. The final plan largely followed the original 15th century plans. Now it is tranquil, welcoming and interesting, a lot to see inside, stunning statuary, artwork and religious items on display. Today the known isn't about museums, castles or other must-sees. The attraction is the town itself, impeccably preserved after escaping the bombs of World War II. A visitor can enjoy the old town center, rumble around the ramparts and explore the old riverfront harbor. 